Hello viewers, I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina. Today's entertainment episode is a segment about the beautiful Filipina and the drama that is automatic in a relationship with a Filipina. I will define and then discuss the four types of dramas associated with a Filipina. The four types of dramas are based on situations I am aware of and have personally witnessed. The drama is so exasperating and typical in the Philippines with foreigners. I will state and define four types of Filipina emotional drama. I will start with the definition of the basic world drama. Drama in day-to-day -day life is a situation or series of events that cause a person to feel conflicted in some way or manner. While it can also refer to being in a dramatic state of mind, for example, I'm in such a drama, I can't find my case. The phrase so exasperated means irritated or annoyed to the point of making bad judgment. Now my four types of Filipino drama. 1. Family drama this drama is defined as the events encountered in a Filipino relationship with her and her family that includes money, bills, debts, house, property, loans, and food. She will emotionally whine to you about their difficult living conditions, lifestyle, poor housing, and the support she needs to provide to family and siblings. You will be overwhelmed with all the problems and dilemmas that exist in the family and that have spilled over the relationship and affecting its success. 2. Economical drama. This drama aligns with family drama but is detailed and defined such as financial urgent situations, such as hospital emergency, bills, electricity cut-off, gas bill, rent payments, urgent dental care, water supply, shortage of food or house repairs or construction. This can run the whole gamut of living expenses. Once again, you feel like a spider trap in a wave and the spider is on the way to devour you and she pours it on constantly. 3. Personal drama. This can be all-inclusive, but normally it's here and family problems. She needs to pay back a personal or college loan or money borrowed from a friend or family member. It could even be a loan from a loan shark with triple the loan amount payments. It can also be payments due on appliances or a mobile phone purchase on credit. Even if she is working, she has vastly overextended herself and her salary is not enough to cover all her expenses. Before and after sex, she emotionally bombards you with her problems and sex isn't as long as enjoyable as before. 4. Conversational drama. This drives foreigners crazy. A Filipina never tells you the full details of an event, conversation, or action that has transpired or happened. She does not fully communicate what's on her mind and her message. For example, she might say, I cut my hand cooking today to you in a text or email or on the phone. That's it. She doesn't say if it was minor, extensive, or bleeding profusely. You have to ask, how bad is it? She might say, it's a knife cut. You ask again, is it bleeding profusely? She will say, there is some blood. It drives foreigners crazy. She always gives bits and pieces of an event but never the complete facts and details. Let's do one more. She might say, My sister was in a motorbike accident. Then you ask if she was hurt badly. 
she will say, the police came. You ask again, is she injured badly? She will say, she is going to the hospital. You will eventually get your answer after prostrating yourself. This is prevalent as well in personal conversation and communications. I have explained four dramas you may or will encounter with your beautiful Filipina. You can make your own list during your relationship and say if any of my four are included. Can you deal with the drama in the Philippines? Do you have any or know of any cases of Filipino drama? If you do, please put in the comments today's video. The only way you can ever avoid a drama Filipina is to only settle for an ultimate Filipina. Anything less is automatic drama. I'm Jane the Ultimate Filipina, wishing you an ultimate day, an ultimate life in the Philippines. Take care. Bye.